sweet, outgoing, at expressive kung ilalarawan nila ni ang anak na si Maxine. Nung time na yon, I thought na she was just a sweet girl na na-express niya lahat. But behind that facade, meron na palang namumuong galit or sadness. Kasi that was the time also nagkaroon siya ng kapatid. Dahil dito, napansin din ni Lani ang madalas na hindi pagsunod kaagad ni Maxine sa kanilang mga utos. I think it was part of it, yung disobedience. Kasi nga, hindi niya nakikita or nakifeel yung love from us since my husband and I were both working then. Yung attention wala sa kanya and nahati bigla between her and her sister. Ang lumalabas galit na nagiging medyo mean ng konti sa sister niya, yung ganun. Hanggang sa isang pangyayari ang ikinagulat ng mag-asawa. That time when I saw that there was blood on her nose, nagulat kami mag-asawa. And then that was when we found out that whenever she couldn't control herself from disobeying our orders or our bilin, sinasaktan niya yung sarili niya. Parang I deserve it kasi I didn't listen naman eh. So that's my punishment for myself. That was the turning point na we had to do something as parents and as a family to address the issue. Nagpasya si Lani na tumigil sa pagtatrabaho na sinangayunan naman ng kanyang asawa. Nagpasya rin sila na i-homeschool na ang mga anak upang mas mabigyan ng atensyon ang kanilang pangangailangan. My husband and I tried to look for a venue on how to teach values to our children. Naalala namin pareho yung Superbook. Nagkataon din na may nakita kaming billboard na ilalabas ang Superbook ulit. So sobra kaming natuwa na it was very timely. It was God sent talaga. When I watched it, I got interested to it. I have these situations that are the same as theirs, so parang I can relate to them also. I'm like Jonah, not listening, not one command, not obeying at all. When Jonah followed God already, I felt like I should do that as well. I should follow mommy and daddy, especially God. Through that story, nabuksan yung mga mata niya na when we talk about obedience, kasama kasi ang heart eh. When you obey, you do it right away and with a happy heart. Bukod pa rito, Inayos din ng Panginoon ang pakikitungo ni Maxine sa bunsong kapatid. At may isang mahalagang bagay pa siyang natutunan. You should say sorry for your sins and that you should confess them to God. Jesus died for us so that we could all be forgiven. So even if I did sin a lot of times, God would still forgive us. Since God forgave me, I don't have to hurt myself anymore. I will just witness the forgiveness of God. Sa panahon ngayon, since hindi na may iwasan ng gadgets, hindi na may iwasan ng panonood ng TV, ang media, why not gamitan natin sa maayos at siguradong paraan na matuturuan ng mga anak natin ng values? I would encourage a lot of kids to watch Superbook so that they would learn more about God and not be like the me before. Hi, I am Maxine Christa Marie Averzosa and I am a certified Batang Superbook.